Hi there. In this video, I'm gonna try to build a keyboard in one minute. Don't know how, but let's try. In 10 hours. Well, not really. A lot of you guys say that I look like Switch and Click, so I might as well just copy her idea. I'm just kidding, this video is inspired by her. The keyboard I chose today is High 75 from Leo Bong. Let's unbox this keyboard first. Okay, so inside we have the keyboard, two manual, and this thing. What are these? And underneath that is the accessory box. And inside, oh my god, we have a braided cable and it's coiled. Nice. We also have... Oh, that's it. Here's the keyboard. I picked the color white, but you guys can also pick either black, blue, purple, or pink. As you can see, my keyboard is a kit, but there's a pre-built version. So the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the knob, because it's literally bright red. The knob also made this ticky noise, which I'm not a fan of. We also have two gray wood V2 switches. If you can't see already, this keyboard is aluminum and it's weighed around 1.25 kilograms. And if you can't see it again, this keyboard is a 75% keyboard. So this keyboard only supports one mode and it's wired. Done with the boring stuff, let's go to the build. I'm gonna do the one minute first. But before that, we need to take a look at the switch and the keycap. For the switch, once again, I'm using KTT switches. KTT sponsor me. Nope. To be spec- To be spec- To be exact, I'm using KTT Mint. That looks especially like the glorious link. Today's keycap is white and black with Japanese accent. It is double shot and it's cherry profile. And now it's a one minute build. Okay, now I'm gonna start the timer for one minute. I'm gonna try to build a keyboard for one minute only. Okay, this is really stressful, but let's start. Okay, I think the stabilizers are pretty needed. I'm gonna try to do 30 switches. Uh, 30, I mean, I'm gonna try to do 30 seconds for switches and the other half for the keycaps. Let's, let's just separate them so that... Uh, no, I'm stressful. I'm gonna have to switch to the. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to switch to the keypad now. Oh, why are these so many? Where are the stabilizers? Spacebar, spacebar. Okay. Okay. Where are the keys? Oh. I don't. Honestly. Oh no, there's 10 seconds left. Gotta have some sort of key in here. I don't care about the order. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Bruh, this is not even a keyboard. Um, I don't know what I just created and it's not great. But now it's a 10 hours build. Now, of course, I'm not gonna build a keyboard for 10 hours straight. I have a life too. So I'm gonna time it when I build the keyboard, but when I do different activities like film, eat or whatever, I'm gonna stop the stopwatch. The first mode I always did is to loop the switches. I have to loop 81 switches, so yeah, it was a really good time. 3 hours and 31 minutes of my life. <laughs> And after that, I spent another 1 hour and 10 minutes to mode 4 stabilizers. As always, I do wear balance, holy mode, and loop the stabilizers. Now we're gonna open up the keyboard. All the screws are there. And to open up the keyboard, you need to take the knob out. And look, I'm clearly struggling here. But I still did it. That's what these guns are for. Sorry, that's really cringe. First is the top case. And if you look closer, you can see that the gasket are in the case. Next, we have PC plate, which have fake fake. We also have plate foam IXPE foam which also a flex cut for some reason in the PCB that are south facing more flex cut and no RGB. We also have palm foam case and the daughter board. Back to the build and now I'm gonna do here we are again yeah tape mode. I was gonna do force break mode so I can look more professional then they already installed it. The reason why I want to do this mode is because normally aluminum keyboard tends to ping. That's all the mode we're gonna do today let's put the keyboard back together. Okay, bird. Now the knob is already hard to take out and now it's hard to put in. What is this behavior? So it take me another one hour and 33 minutes. The total time I spent on this keyboard is five hours and 24 minutes. That's not even close to 10 hours. But now it's a sound test. Overall, 
the keyboard is okay, but the knob is horrible, cannot be accepted, and the worst idea ever. <sighs> But it still have its own pros. Is that they know this keyboard ping, so they install a force break mode. And the stabilizers are pretty good stock too. For $75.99, do you think it's worth it? Leave it on the comment down below. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.